All right, so in this episode, we're going to be doing a modification to this truck here. We're going to be putting a lift kit, 9mm, to lift the suspension on it. As you can see here, we got 21 millimeters to the bottom of the cover there. And it's even less. You can see I got a pallet with a little board. And so I've actually only got 12 millimeters of clearance underneath that truck before it'll high center. We're at 89 millimeters to the top of the wheel well in the front and 80 millimeters to the top of the wheel well in the rear. Now this is the front suspension kit that I got. I got the Lesu kit. And so it's gonna require a lot of modifications uh, to get it to work on this unit. And I won't be using all the parts either. So th this is the stock configuration. And there you can see the link I'm pointing to that'll have to be shortened. Now with this kit, the black pieces are pretty much the only thing I'm going to be using on there uh, for this modification. And there's everything removed uh, from the stock. And right here's the shock mount, and I have to drill a hole 9mm from that original location. But then the mounting holes, everything goes right back on the frame, and everything clears just fine, so there's no problem there. And here I'm using the original uh, springs on this. I did have to use uh, some of my own hardware uh, to make this work because I wanted to keep some of the OEM stuff in there in case I wanted to go back to the OEM suspension. So right there at the horn on that servo, uh, I just had to trim a plastic piece to get those uh, screws and bolts to go in. And here I had to actually pull the entire motor transmission. It means I had to take all the electronics because of that screw and bolt right there. I had to get that out uh, so I could get the other hardware in there uh, to get my extra height. So that was a little bit more than I expected. But once I got it on there then, I got everything mounted up with the OEM springs. Everything looked real good. Shock mounted back on there and everything real good. Now on the other side, I did not have to trim that plastic piece down because there was enough room to clear the servo. I just put longer screws and nuts on that one. And that held really good. Now here, this is the steering joint coupler. I had to lengthen that so that with that extra height, of course it would line up straight. So now we're at 104 millimeters on our height to the top of the wheel well. And these are just some of the leftover parts I had, the springs that come with the kit. And then we move on to the rear kit, which is even more modifications required. So here's the stock setup. And I'm at 47 millimeters from the center of the drive hub to the top of the wheel well there. The shocks had to come off, of course, and these took a little bit different modifications. Uh, than the front. I got those uh, extensions on and originally I was going to try to go with that a plate in the middle and leave that in place uh, and at the video towards the end of this I'll show that I had to actually replace that uh, to put in some different components on the suspension. So now we're at 89 millimeters of height, 32 to the bottom of the box and I'm getting another pallet's worth of space in there. So instead of 12, now I've got 22, so almost 23 millimeters of clearance. So I got my 9 to 10 millimeters of clearance. All right, so I'm just going to run over a few quick things uh, that I didn't get pictures of. So I'd replace this bracket here. This was the original, the OEM Tamiya bracket. So I replaced that bracket. Uh, I had to add these to the suspension uh, to keep uh, the axles from tilting because of the different design that these things have uh, versus the OEM. Uh, so all I did was uh, drilled and tapped two millimeter hole in the top of the pumpkin and was able to screw those pieces in. I got some pictures of that, but that's that's what I did right there. And then uh, OEM left the shock mounts on, as well as the uh, underside mounts or the OEM that were on there. So I left those on the pumpkins 
on the axles and then the shocks I just took the second hole where that pin was located and I just tapped it out and because that was right at nine millimeters so I just tapped that out on all four and moved the shocks up put the shocks back in place so everything works pretty well except for the back suspension I, I, I've really got no movement on that because of my box which I'm changing this out anyway so that box is going to be going away but that box is for the electronics for the dumper so this guy right here well all that's going to be coming out anyway because I'm going to be putting a hydraulic lift on this hopefully that all works out it's going to be a lot of modifications to get that to work too so we'll see how that goes but that's my next next project but that should help with this too since that it just it touches and holds so i get no no hardly any movement out of out of that rear axle with that but once that box is removed that should take care of all that so but so far i did a test run with it as is and even without that back axle giving me good suspension uh man this thing perform really well i love the clearance getting the battery deck up out of the way i'm not getting high centering uh the most i run into is the front end getting problems bumping the front end and that's about it so but it seems to be getting better traction empty even with that with the way the suspension is on here already so we'll see how it works once i get everything cleared up with that box out of the way and get the suspension fully working like it should. Now, if you want a simpler kit, I would recommend this one from RC four wheel drive. Uh, it's designed to work with the stock suspension system. So it would take less modifications to install and you use most all of your uh, stock gear, but it still give you the nice lift. All right, so we're gonna take uh, the dump truck the AROX on its first test run with the 9mm lift on the suspension. Now first impressions, I, I like the way it looks better lower, uh, but it's not too bad, but let's see how it performs.
taking a run around the circuit here. front bumper but She'll probably do even better, hopefully, when she's loaded up. 